Hey everybody, this video is going to be a little bit different to usual. We're looking at a computer game called Disk Space, which was released on Steam a few weeks ago. Now I spent a little bit of time playing it and it's quite good fun. Uh, it's worth giving it a go, you can download it for free. Uh, the developers are constantly working on it and improving it and running tournaments. They ran an inaugural tournament a few days ago and live streamed it. I checked it out and I selected from the grand final the best players. So this is what the game looks like. We have ants in the blue tracksuits and dishwasher Tylenol in the farmer style dungaree outfits. In this clip the farmers are shooting towards the camera. They dump and swing before throwing a huck, but Villanueva has position and gets in front of one trash army to get the block. Villanueva with the steal. The play isn't over yet though. After dumping to Jax on a high stool, one trash army gets his revenge with a point block on a huck. Oh, the turnover. Disaster for ants! Oh, it's disaster. They're wide open and it's over. Dishwasher Tylenol wins. This quick give go secured the win for Dishwasher Tylenol in the grand final. Villanueva's D followed by One Trash Army's point block and the give go score was a great play, but it comes in as number three in our list of top plays. As Tylenol go on a lap of victory, we can see we're playing ultimate on an asteroid orbiting a planet, which has a scoreboard, a pond, a live Twitch stream on a Jumbotron, a uh, working seesaw, a trampoline, even a spaceship and wind farm generators. Ant's strategy in the final was to huck the disc full field from one cannon player to three cutters and cut to the corners, as explained by the commentator. Going into that final, everybody was like, how the hell do you beat Ants with their cannon three cutter offense? Or dump it full court every time. Victory this leads us to the number two clip. In this clip, Cloud Monet on defense reads Ant's Huck perfectly and gets an awesome layout block. Cloud Monet has got that number figured out. They have a receiver deep, so Dishwasher Tylenol are able to convert the point in one pass. If we look again at the play, we can see One Trash Army has preempted the turnover by going deep early with an empathy layout, meaning that Ants can't set up their short field defense properly and get punished immediately. In the number one clip from the inaugural Disc Space Tournament, Ants have switched up their strategy and Villanueva comes under to snatch the disc from between two laying out Tylenol players, Dirty Dan and Cryonize. A quick one too and Villanueva gets the disc on the far sideline and from there they attack the space laterally, the classic dump and swing and continue sequence that we see in every offense in Ultimate. The play climaxes with Villanueva laying out past three bidding defenders to get the goal. Villanova has definitely been an offensive powerhouse for Ants with those dives. Most of their points are off Villanueva. Congratulations to Dishwasher Tylenol for winning the tournament, uh, beating Ants in the final. A player, uh, Villanueva from Ants, released a analysis of the current meta, uh, which I found pretty interesting. I'll read some bits out for you, uh, and the link will be in the description. Uh, so Villanueva says, uh, with the completion of the first tournament, we have witnessed the birth of a variety of novel strategies, each with varying success. In the grand finals, uh, Ants and Dishwasher Tylenol faced off. Both teams made use of a very similar strategy, namely the full field huck strategy. Due to its dominating success in this tournament, it's clear that this strategy is the current meta. Uh, it involves three cutters and one cannon. Before the point begins, the disc is passed to the cannon. The cutters then run towards the other end zone to receive a long huck sent by the cannon. Villanueva goes on to um, explain that the huck strategy is a product of a combination of things. Um, there being lag issues, which the developers are already addressing, um, unreliable target selection. So when you have the disc in your hands and you're looking to throw, if two people are kind of like near to each other or in a line, then it's impossible to like select between them. Um, and beyond that, uh, the double teams and the hammers. So as soon as there's like a double team, then you can throw like a really, really fast hammer or a thumber, um, which is quite a good balance. That can kind of means that the double team is like punished quite effectively. Um, it is possible to D those hammers, but it's, it's a little bit harder. Um, he says that the diving mechanic is also uh, contributing to the meta, the fact you can change direction whilst you're diving. Um, and that the meta is good because it has simplicity, so little time to prepare for the tournament, uh, very little practice to be coordinated. Each player knows their role, and each role is very easy to understand. Also, he mentions the turnover. Uh, on a turnover, the defense can be less, left clustered, or like the new offense are left clustered, um, and out of position for the offensive transition. So 
He observed that in the tournament, teams often fail to successfully convert a turnover uh, to a point. Um, now, I think um, Dishwasher Tylenol played a little bit less of the hot game than than Ants did. Um, and I also think that the developers, uh, well, I know the developers are always changing the game, always improving it, and they have made defending hucks a little bit easier, I believe. So, so the huck strategy is probably not going to be the dominant strategy in the next tournament, but we will see. You know, I mean, the huck is always a val valuable thing in in ultimate. Um, so, if players are free deep, you're going to expect that to work. Um, there's a mechanic in the game where when it's re when the disc is thrown, then it's kind of like tied to the receiver. So. If they change direction and move, then the disc will change direction and move in the air, um, which is kind of an interesting way of, of dealing with, um, you know, offense. There's another disc space tournament coming up this Saturday on December the 12th. Uh, the developers are running that, and it will be interesting to see how the meta changes, if the meta changes, um, and how the game has changed since this tournament that we just covered. Right, I'm going to leave you with some more clips from the final uh, with a bit of my analysis, and I will see you again soon. In this clip, Jax has got the disc and one trash army jumps across the force to the near side. Villanueva goes deep on the break side, but he's got Cryon Eyes and Cloud Monet in hot pursuit, so he cuts under and lays out to the front corner to secure the goal. Villanueva dumps the disc to Whip, who then throws it deep to Trilobite. Trilobite runs across the back of the end zone and then lays out forwards to stop the disc from being intercepted by the defender. When he makes the catch, the disc is over the end zone, so this counts as a goal, but if you look on the replay, his feet are clearly in the air, so in ultimate, this would actually be not in. Jax, going to full court. No, not full court. Whip actually fell back to help that, but Villanova... Oh. Yeah, Villanova is the Whip cuts deep for Jax, and earlier in the game, they probably would have put this straight to the end zone, but Whip shakes off the defenders by changing direction and coming under, laying out to secure the catch. With the disc on the opposing team's brick mark, the throw into the end zone is a bit easier, and Villanueva lays out towards the front corner of the end zone to get the catch despite bids from Clout Monet and One Trash Army. An interesting blocking play here from Jax, which stops Dirty Dan from getting around on the force. Villanueva milks the next pass as far downfield as he can before dumping to Jackson going deep, again planting and hitting the front corner hard with a layout in order to secure the goal. Jax. Perfect dame. Ants fake the full field huck, and Whip comes back to catch the disc, managing to get it just outside the end zone. Villanueva cuts to the front corner and lays out preemptively, which creates enough space between defenders for Trilobite to cut across the back line and receive a pass right down the middle for the goal. Ants go for the full field huck, but Cryonize reads it perfectly, and despite a good bid from Villanueva, it comes down Dishwasher Tylenol's hands. From that moment, Dishwasher are unstoppable, as they put together a flurry of quick passes to work the disc down the sideline, and then smoothly across into the front corner of the end zone. Dota Dan puts in a good bid on defense, and then Villanueva in the end zone flares his cut out to the side at the last moment to get extra separation. If we look at the replay, it looks as though Villanueva lands on the line, but in this space at the moment, this counts as a goal. Whip catches a fadeaway throw from Jax, and then Villanueva makes a neat fake and cut at the front corner to get a short pass goal. Really, one trash army here should have stayed on the near side. Victory lap going now by Dishwater Tylenol. <laughs>